Halfway between Norway and the North Pole, Svalbard is one of the last great wildernesses in the world. Home to more polar bears than people, this is a land of frozen peaks, vast glaciers and icy fjords. But in recent years, climate change has had a dramatic impact on Svalbard's frozen landscapes. Scientists at the northerly research town of New Olsen say the glaciers that make up 60% of its landmass are retreating literally before their eyes. This glacier was connected to that piece of land and has then moved back because of uh, global warming. Uh, I can remember in 1992 at a Sunday dinner some young men were very happy they had gone through the glacier and uh, for the first time and they were very proud of themselves. Uh, but, of course, now it is uh, a kilometers uh, wide gap here. So it is a very clear example of uh, what is happening in the landscape here. Just as alarming is the melting of the sea ice in the waters around Svalbard. An area bigger than Denmark is disappearing every year, and these fjords around New Olsen haven't frozen over for years. Uh, the whole fjord used to freeze uh, in the winter. Uh, significant uh, uh, amounts of ice every winter. Uh, the past uh, seven years we haven't seen ice in the winter. And of course all the ecosystems that are ice dependent have lost habitat. So uh, we see polar cod on the decline, we see ordinary cod increasing. Uh, so uh, it is a cascade of effects that uh, indeed uh, is opportunity maybe for more cod fishing, uh, but it is also a manifestation of the loss of a specialized habitat and uh, what it was, what it will be, uh, uh, is something that we know preciously little about. With so little known about what lies under these previously frozen waters, the expansion of cod fishing around Svalbard is making environmentalists very nervous. And after Greenpeace published a report warning of the potential risk bottom trawling posed to vulnerable Arctic ecosystems, the Norwegian fishing industry has agreed to stay out of previously unfished areas until more research has been carried out. Fiskebåt has agreed uh, that we shall not fish with trawl gear in areas which have not been regularly fished before. Uh, that is until the scientists decide if these areas or some parts of them are vulnerable and should be protected. Norway takes sustainable fishing very seriously. The Norwegian Coast Guard carries out 2,000 fishing vessel inspections every year and the waters around Svalbard are already protected by a 12-mile exclusion zone and the same restrictions on bottom trawling that apply to other Norwegian waters. The government is currently reviewing whether these rules are enough to protect the islands. Bottom trawling is currently prohibited in deeper waters than a thousand meters. There are information indicating that that is uh, not the appropriate limit in the waters around Svalbard and the government is currently investigating whether the rules need to be amended. Whether or not this will be enough to protect Svalbard's delicate marine ecosystems remains to be seen. But with fisheries, government and scientists working together, there is hope yet for this untouched wilderness. <laughs>